One of the other great things about coming into a fitness routine, especially with yoga, is that it really does allow us to increase our own body awareness as well as our balance. And for most folks, as we get older, balance is one of the first things to begin to leave us. So practicing with balancing poses is definitely a must to include in any workout routine. It is definitely improving balance. So I'm going to go ahead and step to the front space. We're going to come back into our Tadasana, rolling down with the shoulders, feeling each and every one of the fingers pulling down towards the floor. Feel the collarbone spreading wide, and the chin is parallel to the mat. Everything is lifting up and away from the soles of the feet, and then we inhale, sweep the arms up, and take a back bend. As you exhale, arms open wide, flat back, folds forward, head comes as close to the knees as it can. Inhale, lengthens the spine. Feel the belly slide into place. Feel the head pull forward. Exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, rise on up all the way into our standing back bend. Sweep the arms around. Keep the shoulders low. Exhale, down we go. Inhale, this time let's come to Utkatasana, chair pose. Dropping into the seat, feel the bottom pull down behind you. Feel the chest and the arms reach up high, but feel the shoulders stay locked in place and the knees pull back so we can always see the toes peeking out. Shifting weight, we'll step out one foot and just turn enough so the heel of the foot can touch to the floor and the arms still reach up and the knee bends forward into a 90 degree bend. Feeling the hips press to the front of the room, feeling the shoulders reach up nice and high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pivot off that back foot. Slide into our warrior three. Arms can reach forward. We want to try and keep the hips and shoulders level from the left to the right side so we're staying pretty flat on the whole back. Reaching out through the fingers, looking down to the mat. This is our standing warrior three. Take a deep breath. Exhale, come on back, warrior one, push down to the back heel, feel the entire length of the back leg pressing towards the mat, take a deep breath, look on up, exhale, hands come down, and we step out, chaturanga push to our halfway lift, inhale, roll back in the shoulders, stretch the belly, upward dog, exhale, heels come down, downward dog. Toes lift up towards the ceiling, step through to our fingers, and we step both feet up, Uttanasana, forward fold, Utkatasana, chair pose, and this time shifting weight out, we'll step back opposite side, and as the heel comes down, the toes are turning just enough so that the heel can press to the mat. We don't want the hips to open while we're here. Want to keep front facing, look high towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in. Exhale, shift off that back foot, launch onto the standing leg. Warrior three, reaching from fingers to toes, breathing while we're here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stepping back, warrior one. Look up high. Exhale, all the way down. Step on out, high to low plank, upward facing dog, and down. Lifting the toes up towards the ceiling, stepping forward to our hands, sweeping the other foot in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open arms, rise all the way up. And as we pull the hands into Samasthi heating, we can shift the weight onto the right foot, taking left toes to the ankle, the calf, maybe all the way up to the thigh, avoiding the joint of your knee. And if we're in on the thigh, go ahead and push, because your thigh is a big muscle group. It can definitely hold on to that small amount of weight. Hands could reach up to the ceiling. Gaze could lift up. Shoulders want to roll back and down toward each other. Chest wants to be open and lifted towards the ceiling overhead. Generally hold about three to five breaths. And on the exhale, hands come back. 
gaze turns down. We'll release the left foot, give a quick shake out one side and then the other, and then take up left foot, ankle, calf, or thigh. Check in with those standing toes. They want to be flat to the floor and not curled under like an eagle's talon. Arms can press close together, the hands can reach up towards the ceiling. Gaze can travel up as well. Feel the back lifting up and pressing forward. We don't want to feel our back dumping down towards the mat, but feel everything reaching higher. And we hold for three to five breaths. On the exhale, come on down. And we'll release and shake out one leg and then the other returning arms into our Tadasana and release. 